everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World free video here on the Edinburgh to Glasgow route by Rivet Games. Uh, we're back on, um, so big thanks to Dovetail Games for the opportunity to uh, show this off on their publisher weekend. Very nice of them. Um, but yeah, here we are, we are at uh, Queen Street and we're, going, no, we're not Queen Street, we're at Edinburgh Waverley and we're going to be heading over to, uh, to Glasgow Queen Street. Uh, we're due out fairly soon. Let's just, let's, hang on, we've got to do it, we've got to do it. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Here it is, quick, 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 quick. Yeah, we've got to do it. Let's, go here. let's ride the, can we actually ride the elevator in the uh, free cam? Would it actually move the camera up? Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, if, if you want to see the ugly side of the elevator. Oh, oh hello, that is a bit cheeky. Um, but let's get out of there. Let's um, get the doors locked. Uh, we got the green. Uh, get the TMS set up. Let's see the year I started playing Train Sim. Well, it's the year I got Train Sim for myself. Uh, 2014, log in. Um, and we'll also get the passenger lights on, saloon lighting. That should be that, I think. Um, and then off to Haymarket. So on this one, we're calling at uh, Haymarket, Linlithgow, Polmont, Falkirk High, Croy, and then Queen Street. Forward and let's go. So we've got the green now, which is good, so should be all good to go. Yeah, I think we're all, we're all good. Okay, good. As I was actually going to do another service before, well, I was going to do another service, which was eight coaches. Um, but for some reason, when I passed the signal, I said I spatted uh, when it was actually green. Um, but yeah, as, uh, this is a pre-release build I'm recording on at the moment. The DLC comes out tomorrow. Um, let's see if you see anything that looks a bit funny. That's that's probably why. Well, for the most part, it's fine. So it's been pretty good so far. And we are playing on the PC as well. Usually, you'd see. Me oh, hang on. That's what I didn't do. Uh, oh God. There we go. So I've got them on all. I got I got them all on before. Then went and then yeah. Then we had to restart with this service. Uh, but yeah, we are on the uh, PC, uh, not on the PlayStation, unfortunately, um, because of the um, the delay. Uh, but not to worry. As we make our way out of here. It's a lovely looking train now, the 385. It's um, yeah, very nice looking train. It looks great in the um, Scott Roller free as well. One of the best looking UK trains about at the moment. Although it does look weird at the same time. So it allows to sort of squish the cabbies in. and But it, it, it looks good. I think one of the things which sort of makes it all that much nicer is the... Um, the sort of yellow coming across here and then sort of the black bit there just makes it look clean. I like it. Look at that. Up to 50. Well, that's not actually that far to Haymarket, so there's probably not much point speeding up too much. Yeah, so we're sort of slow on this side of the route and then once we get past Falkirk. And uh, we'll be stopping at Croy. Oh, we are stopping at Croy. Okay, well then after that, we'll then pass to uh, Queen Street. Now we come into Haymarket. Has anyone been on this route in real life? I guess probably quite a few people, as it's sort of the main main rail link, I suppose, in Scotland. No, we're fine. We're good. Uh, I think it's just stop when you want, really. It's, yeah, stop when we're on the platform. So, we'll let that come to a stop. Uh, do that, and then do that. Cool. I don't know why, but I keep using the um, WASD keys. I try and start, I'm trying to use them for the cameras. No idea why. I don't know what I've been playing to make me do that, but 
out of habit, I just yeah, seem to be pressing WASD for the um, cams, but no, it's the arrow keys. Oh, I'm really good to go. Oh, and this is one of the things, I'm going to pop in quick. Ah, now we're at the next station. I was going to say, I'll show you the um, guard panels. Let's just assume we have a guard on, though. And we're off. But yeah, the route is uh, Edinburgh Waverley to Glasgow Queen Street, uh, 47 miles. Um, well, 47 slash 48. Uh, yeah, another modern UK route in Scotland. It's good stuff. And we get that up to, what's that, 90? So let's uh, whack that up. As we make our way out of uh, Haymarket. There's the Murrayfield Stadium there on the right coming up. Shiny stuff. But these trains aren't new. These, uh, I think, um, came to Scott Rail I think in 2018. So they're uh, quite new. Not the newest train we have in Train Sim. I think the newest train we have in Train Sim is probably the 484. Uh, but probably in close second, probably this, quite possibly. There was a neutral section there. It's a bit naughty as we had power on. There was no warning board. And up to a hundred. Let's uh, get that up even more. So we're in the class three eight five. Yeah, so this line was only electrified, I think, in, what, 2017, 2018 time? So about the time I saw the 314s retired, even though they had nothing to do with this route. Um, it, was, it was worth mentioning. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I think this got, um, oh, got electrified in sort of 2017, 18. Uh, and I think originally you had 365s running along the route. Uh, until that all of these were delivered, something like that. A good question for chat: Have class 380s ever ran on this route? And if not, where did the where the where did the 380s mainly operate? Or was that sort of north of Carlisle on the west coast main line into Glasgow? Is that where they operate? This is Edinburgh Park. Let's get a flyby shot. Might see a tram if we're lucky. What was the one back there? No. Oh my god, this is going quick. Right. I need to be quick to get this flyby shot because that train is going quick. There it goes. Get back in. Get that on. Can't go. I can't drive like that yet. Just yet. Soon, but not just yet. I just love how quick it is, though. So nice, and then you jump into like, the 314 uh, and on the rail tour service, it's like 17. It's like just it, it's never ending. And this up to 100, nice and fast, you can sit back, relax. It, it's fantastic, and there's announcements as well, which is even more fantastic. Um, so we go up to here, also announce uh, if we do maybe next station. Wait, next station. Oh, I think she, she's saying this is quite next quiet. Station. Oh. Linlith go? Linlith go? No, I don't know, something like that. You'll yeah, be quite careful your speed as well, because you can see there, we're on. Let's try and get to the off position. Yeah, we're in the opposite, but look how fast that's coming down. No brakes, not the sort of steepest of inclines, but yeah, look how fast that speed's coming down there. So you've got to be really on the ball, um, sort of climbing out of Glasgow or Edinburgh. It's full Kirk High, sort of, I suppose, the top bit, and then either side of that just goes down. Um, so you've got to be on point, I suppose, if you want to stay at that speed.
I've used the horn a little bit there. I'm going to keep that in power too for now. Hopefully that will keep us at about 98. As we head along. But yeah, we are on the PC version. Now my, my PC isn't the best. So... I suppose it says 30 there for this line. No. Um, yeah, my PC isn't the best. I mean, I can, I can run Train Sim World on sort of high slash ultra, but then it does lag a little bit. So I've popped it down sort of just high, sort of medium slash high, uh, just so we can have a nice smooth run. Oh my god, there's an 80 there, and we're not going 80. That came out of nowhere. No one told me about it. But it's fine, no one panic, no one panic. There you go, all the passengers wouldn't know, it's fine. It's all good. I'd say it probably actually looks better on the outside view of my PC than on the inside. I don't know. That was a free coach run there. As you get two um, subclasses, you get the Dash Zero and the Dash One. Dash Zero has the free coach option, and the Dash Four has the full coach option. Um, I wonder if you can get the six coach ones. I know you can get eight coaches because I've seen some of them. Um, yeah, some of you have a double unit, so you can send eight coaches. But I wonder if you can get a double free coach unit. I've tried that. Well, chat. Fire off. Hey, is is there a six coach service? I mean, this is like my full front on the line, so I don't know. We've got six miles to the go. No, do that 17 pass. That we can't get there on time. I mean, yeah, we did have a little bit of the limit, but um, we can forget about that. Tunnels. So, well, we're stopping again, then if go, Pullman, Falkirk, Kai, and Croy, then Queen Street, wasn't it? Yeah, so I suppose we're sort of running semi fast. Because I think there are some services which just completely skip out all of the stations apart from Falkirk, Kai. Um, yeah, so I suppose maybe peak time you might see that. Although I think quite a lot of the express services on the way to Glasgow also now stop at, I think it was Lindsay and Bishop's Briggs. Oh, Bishop Briggs. They stop there as well. I suppose to then get extra people into the city. This route is also on Train Simulator Classic as well, so I suppose if, you, if you've got this version and you want to see the route in a slightly different light when it was diesel, um, yeah, there is the Train Sim Classic Edinburgh to Glasgow as well, uh, which you get the Turbo Star on there, the 170. That was always a nice one to drive. And it just sort of then you can see it in a different light, I suppose, in the diesel days. to Linlithgow now. Oh yeah, once we get to Linlithgow, I'll show you the guard panel, uh, which is, is cool. Uh, so it's Rivet, uh, uh, Rivet like doing guard panels. In the full rate four we saw it, well I suppose in general really, sort of dovetail as well. Guard panels are cool, we need more. Uh, yeah, in the full rate four we had the sort of fully functioning guard panel in the 323. Yes, it, it, yeah, it, it does the job. And then, in this, this is also the guard panel as well. Well, I think this one's similar to the 323, where it sort of, sort of does the job, but the AI will still try and interfere, whereas on the 484, you get, I suppose, you can sort of trick the AI into pretty much taking full control. So well, pretty much yeah, the, the Scottish flag on the train. Now imagine that being the England flag, like, just it wouldn't look good. It 
look a bit cursed, whereas this just suits me just really nice. Well, imagine a Welsh, like, a Welsh flag on a train, and that would look cool. But an English one just wouldn't really work. Right, uh, one and a half of a mile to the lift go. Now we do that 17 past, so we should be getting there on time. If all goes well, that is. Which hopefully it will. Let's pop that down. And yeah, I'm sure we do have quite a few people watching. Um, so yeah, I suppose stick around for the publisher weekend. Tons more cool content to come. Uh, I don't know what day this will be going out on. Uh, I suppose Alex will be scheduling that. Uh, but yeah, I suppose stick around after this. Replay it. You might see that there'll be more more things to watch. Oh my god, we need to slow down. We really do need to slow down. I don't want to get an overshoot on one of these streams. That's just not 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 nice. This is this is oh this oh this is actually quite quick. I, I still come into the stations way too quick. I know we're going forward. See that it's it's all right. It's all right. I don't really want to get a spad. No, I think we'll be we're well, not a spad, but uh, overshoot. But no, I think we'll be all right. See, it's fine. I knew it was fine. Well, we did go past the stop marker, I think. But uh, I did we actually? I don't think we did. Or did I? I didn't even see a stop marker. Well, no, there isn't a stop marker, so we're fine. <laughs> it was a good stop. Or is there a stop marker? Was it a bit? Was it even further back? No, no, it's fine then. No, we're all good. See, it's all good. Oh, no, you got one there. Oh, was it right at the end then? No, oh, no, there just isn't one on this platform. All right, well, that's fine then. <laughs> I, I call that a good stop. I don't know, I have my fingers crossed. But no, we're all good. Oh, I did say about the guard panel. We'll, no, we'll do it at the next one. Which is Pullman, which isn't that far away. Let's just speed up now. There's a collectible right down there as well. A bit of ex exploration at that station, I say. Nice one. Because that was one of the one of the sort of things Rivet highlighted with this route, is that they wanted players to uh, feel, I suppose, slightly more free in a way. Sort of, they've sort of opened up areas which wouldn't usually be um, sort of available to go in. You know, like waiting rooms, ticket offices, uh, station concourses. You know, places which you wouldn't really usually expect to see modelled or even, you know, be sort of greyed out or something. Um, so that was one of the things Rivet wanted to do. Oh, let's do this. Let's all, yeah, I wanted to, I suppose, let people explore a little bit more. And, yeah. Bonus and Canelli Railway. I probably made a hash of that name. Uh, but yeah, that goes off there. So that's a Heritage Railway. Cool. It's always cool to see sort of Heritage Railways um, sort of linking up with main lines. It's, it's nice. That's what I hope the uh, Kenny Sussex and Bluebell do one day, link up with the uh, main lines. 
obviously the Kennedy Sussex linking up at Roberts Bridge and maybe the river linking up at Arding Light and if they can run to Hayward Sea if even better. But in fact no the, no, the Bluebell has already linked off. If you're Heritage Railways, Bluebell Railway, the Bluebell Railway already is connected to one of the main lines. East Grinstead. So no, yeah, the Kennedy Sussex will be called that linked up to Roberts Bridge one day. But just there, it's just nice when Heritage Railways create that link. See, I suppose it opens up way more possibilities. Like I suppose with West Somerset Railway. I think they did have a GWR service running from Taunton to Bishop's Lydiard, which is, is great. Right, let's try not to come into the station too quick. This one might have markers. So let's be a bit, bit more sensible. Let's all come charging at a top speed. Well, I suppose we've tested it now. You can come into the station on this train in about 40 miles an hour and be alright. That was the sole purpose of going way too quick into the lift go. I was testing, alright. that stop marker. I bet it'll be right at the end, won't it? Slow down for no reason. It is as well. <laughs> right near enough to the end. S car stop. Right, let me show you the guard panel before I forget. And we are actually a little bit early as well. So, if you want to use the guard panel, click door handover, which I suppose you probably would be able to do with AI. Remember, there's both sides as well. Uh, in one of my other videos, I only clicked one side and then I was like, why is it not working? Uh, but obviously we're only going to be on that side, so that's fine. If you come out here, uh, find the guard panel. Uh, you can open that up. And then key switch was set to unlocked, and you can see this has activated. So the panel is active. Um, so what we can do, some cool things we can do. Um, there you go, a little help point, one of the sort of old help points. Um, yeah, right, back to back to this where we got distracted. Um, so, we want to get the doors shut, so doors closed left. R1 won't shut because our key's in. And then you can see now we can do our door, local door shut. Do the buzzer, and driver will then do it back, and off we go. So set to forward, and it's full Kirk Kynex, which is in three miles. Now, so you don't have to do the driving and the guarding at the same time. You could do it separately. That's another thing as well, these little things, um, the blinds in first class, you can see they adjust to where the sunlight is. There's an 8 coach, you can bugger. I wanted that. That goes down to Falkirk, Graham Hampstead, it's actually a really steep gradient down there. Being down that way on the Trainsome Classic, it doesn't feature in this uh, in this version of the route though. Um, yeah, that goes down to Falkirk, Graham Hampstead, so you come round and into the station. Really steep. that is then yeah that's just Croy and then Queen Street at 48 so we've got about 24 minutes to Queen Street really ain't bad time wise um, yeah it's about half on the service that's just got really really quick 
see, in, in this train it goes really quick. When yeah, when you do like something like the three one four rail tour, the railhead treatment train service, it feels so slow. This isn't a bad thing. I like a slower paced train. I should be going into the tunnel shortly. side of it so I'm gonna probably slow down a bit quicker than that I'd say. Pretty much as soon as you get in the tunnel slam the brakes on. It's only probably about 50 metres before we get out of the tunnel or then in the station. I suppose that sort of is your marker though for full Kirk Kai. Once you get in the tunnel slam the brakes on it should come into a fairly good stop at, uh, at the station. I have a play around of announcements here. Because the announcements are cool. Yeah, this is Falkirk High, which we're coming into now. Uh, where's the stop marker? It's not hidden behind there, is it? Now, one of the stations, oh, there it is. It's like hidden behind a waiting shelter. I mean, one of the worst stop markers, on, or, yeah, one of the worst ever stop markers in the game is on, oh, that was really perfect, that was bang on, I think, is on Cathcart Circle. Can you guess the station? Begins with the letter P. The free coach stop marker as well. I'll give you ten seconds. Um, yeah, let's play around with the announcements. Um, so, let's see. Uh, customer info... This train is. Oh, let's do this is. This is Falkirk High. Then. You gonna do the thing? Welcome. Oh, no, no, go on. It's alright. Oh. oh. Welcome. Oh, that was. Welcome to the Scott Rail Service to Glasgow Queen Street. Next station. Go on, next station. Maybe she's a bit shy. Next station is oh. Croy. Croy. Let's get the door shut. But yes, the station is Pollock Shields East. Pollock Shields East, when you're going towards Glasgow Central. The free car stop marker is just so bloody annoying on there. It's um, sort of hidden behind the waiting shelter. And as it's an island platform as well, it's... Um, a bloody bugger to see in the 314 as well, which you can't really see through to the other side that well. Because that's what I would say is probably the worst UK stop marker or most hidden UK stop marker. Just under 10 miles to cross. We've got quite a quite a distance to go. Well, the bets you can actually walk along that path there. I'd say you probably can. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe. Actually, no, it does seem like something Rivet might do. Someone will have to try that. Can you walk along that path there? I don't think there's actually a canal up there. Oh, uh, Very, very dried out canal. Well, I think there's a canal. Or maybe it was. Speed on this train. It just feels so great to get above 70 and just up to 100. As this would be the fastest AC UK route we have in the game. It's Great Western Express that doesn't count. I know it does have the overhead wires, but the trains are in and they're not electric. So. so, yeah, I think this would be yeah, the fastest UK AC route we have. Actually, no, no, take that back, take that back, take it back just completely. Southeast and high speed. Although, don't take it back actually, the sort of classic lines AC route, then it's the fastest. I mean, HS1's an exception, isn't it? It's high speed one. 
So yeah, fastest conventional AC route. UK route. Look at that, already two miles gone in absolutely no time at all. And we left full at 27. So two minutes. Not bad. It's been really good so far. I'm, I'm really enjoying the route. This is sort of my, so I suppose, first proper run outside of doing sort of videos for the first day. Uh, so it's just quite nice to sort of chill out and, well, just go along and just enjoy the service. Well, obviously I enjoyed it the other times as well, but first proper service where I'm just doing it, because why not? Six now. That oh, miles went whiz by that last one. But yeah, the, the train's very good at losing the speed, so even though it's flat or it, it just comes down really quickly. So it's a lot of, I suppose, drag on the train. There's a neutral section, as I said, still no warning boards for it. Maybe they've been added now when you're watching this. So this is the line going back up uh, from Fulcote, Graham, Hampstead, also a lower. So that's just drawing back up. Oh, not that. Also, something I'll show you. I'm just showing you all the bits and bobs on it, but it's cool, so we'll do that. I'll show you the other thing in a second. Once we get to cry. That's one of those little things. But it's a cool little thing. How quick it is. You can see that head glass go there, head row right there. We're up there now. I suppose it is a, a sort of complete opposite to the last uh, UK route we had, which was the cross city line. Um, which, yeah, sort of see, I suppose the average speed will be about 50, 60 on there. It's lots and lots and lots and lots of stops. Whereas on here, it's 100 miles an hour, so near enough double the speed you'd go on there. And, well, only 10 stops. So it's quite a nice sort of um, contrast to them, I like that. Nice bit of variety. Across the also being another really good route. Probably one of the most detailed British routes there is. Just that and this, I would say, very close, detail-wise. And train-wise, I suppose, as well, because on the Cross City, you get the somewhat working GSMR. Um, I suppose, whereas on this, you don't, but then you do get the train management system on here. So they're both, uh, they both got those little extra bits to them. Which you don't have to use. You probably might be wondering, what is GSMR? What's TMX? You don't have to use them. Just little added bonuses. Fantastic. And not far to cry. Oh, I probably should start slowing down now. That is coming up very quick. And after cry, it's then Queen Street, which I don't think is that. I think it's 10 miles, I'm going to guess, from Croy to Queen Street, so, well, that's about the same what, what we've just done with Falkirk, but, so not too bad. Just over a mile, we should get there possibly early, look at that, being early, what a professional driver. Well, at some point, probably fairly soon, I want to drive like that on it. I think the main station's Falkirk, 
I mean, Haymarket, that's easy to know. So, yeah, if you're going from Edinburgh to Glasgow, Haymarket, that's easy to know. Was it 20 miles an hour? Then it goes up to like 40, then 80, and then up to 100 or so. So, I think I've probably got that, that too, sort of all right. Edinburgh Park, that's another sort of fairly easy one to know when you're coming up to. This was when the five circle line sort of goes off. Um, yeah, and obviously Falkirk High, you go for the Mastiff Tunnel before that. Is that one stopping? I think it is. Yeah, I'd say that's probably alright. Here we are, let's do the doors. Oh yeah, bang on. Yeah, it's a very... What does this say on the side? Uh, you got, well, you got Express, but well, that's where the name comes from. Scott Rail EX Express. Your ticket to Zero Carbon Travel, Scotland's Railways. Or Scotland's Railway. See, why can't England follow suit? And why can't we have like a, a nationalised network? Well, is Scott Rail actually that great? Do they run on time and is everything alright? Let's get the doors shut. Well, I suppose there's many, 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 many more lines in, in England. Right, let's go. Then transport for Wales. That's, I suppose, a nationalised Welsh uh, one. I think it is. Well, let's go to Queen Street next. Back up to 100 miles an hour, and we're due there at 48, so in 11 minutes. Reason it being slightly longer is because you've got to go down into Queen Street through the tunnels, which I think are like 50. So we're passing through Lindsay, Lindsay, and Bishop Briggs. I think I've liked all the station names now on here. Which is good. Let's get another fly by shot. Let's uh, go ahead. Now I watch it flying through, fl flying past this little side in bit here. Let's go a little bit further. There you go. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Oh, there's the, there's the DSD going off. Lovely. Very, very pleasant. And this is Lindsay, I think. Oh, thanks. Thanks coming up. Oh no, maybe not just yet. Not too far along. I think Lindsay and Bishop Briggs are pretty much next to each other though. Oh. Just, uh, who's got this line already then? And what do you think of it? Bit of scenery though, sort of before we enter the city, because in a second it's going to be built up buildings everywhere, not, not far off. Seven miles or so, so that's coming out fairly quick. We've got nine minutes until we're due, and we should ideally get there on time as well. We've been 
right to all the other stops. So as, as long as we stick to that limit, as you can see, it really just comes, I, I don't know, it just comes down really quickly. I'm also surprised we haven't seen the weather change. I have put dynamic weather on. Then we'll see that change at some point. What's coming up now? I can see something just ahead of us. Oh no, no, oh no, there is a. I think there's a station there. Well, if it is, this will be Lindsay, I think. Uh, yes, I think there's a platform. Probably won't be, it'll be nothing. Oh no, no, I think it is. Hit a horn as we go through. Make sure everyone's away from behind the uh, yellow line. There we go. Some people don't seem to know what the yellow line is and want to stand in front of it many times in my life. I've, I've had that. I've been at the station, uh, obviously working, and then had to you know, get back from the from the yellow line. Mostly on football days. Football days. There was actually a festival at Falmer back in uh, was it September, October time, and yeah, everyone was trying to sort of you know, crowded platforms. And Falmer's not the biggest of stations, if you know, from East Coast way on um, Train Sim World. Uh, it's not the biggest of platforms. I mean, you've got a whole festival in the park next door, uh, and people trying to get home before the station, because the station actually has to, had to shut early. Um, sort of how busy it was expected to be. Obviously, people left early to try and, so it was still quite busy. And the amount of people were sort of drunk trying to get in front of the uh, yellow line. It was like, oi, <laughs> back. Well, not quite literally like that, but. Uh, so, not too far to Bishop Briggs. It's actually ran all right as well. I mean, yeah, I know I'm on the PC, so it might not look as clear as what it does on the PlayStation 5 for me, at least. But it's been fairly, you know, it's right, ran smoothly, and I think it's looked all right. So uh, that's also good. Oh, let's bring that down to 85. Oh, okay. So that's one thing I still haven't um, uh, got great with is, is uh, sort of when I should break on this train. <laughs> That's 70, let's, let's start breaking for that now. Just to be on the safe side. As we approach Glasgow Queen Street, won't be long, we'll be there. Two and a half miles. So we come up to the depot which comes up next as we uh, come into uh, Glasgow. It's like dropping FPS there, I suppose, as it loads in the depot which is just around here. Which is quite a big uh, facility. And 50, that came that came up absolutely nowhere, didn't it? Hang on, where did that come from? Did anyone see that beforehand? That's fine, I'm going to 50 now. But from these mistakes, it's actually then sort of, I suppose, easier to learn. So next time we come along there, I know, right, there's a 50 there, I need to slow down for that. Especially when we do it like that, which is the best way to play. If you haven't, if you haven't already and you're really confident with a route, just, just turn it off. Just turn it off, and if, and if in doubt, turn it on, have a little look. But yeah, the train sim world, if you are very confident, say if you've done... I know quite a lot of people, Brighton Mainline, you've probably done it a thousand times. Well, not a hundreds of times. But you still keep the HUD on. Just, just turn it off and see how you get on. It's much more enjoyable. I know some people do prefer the HUD on, so I suppose then they can sort of do other bits in the background whilst playing the game. Um, but no, do, 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 do turn it off. Give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? A 
But yeah, this, uh, if you just joined us, or just a recap, Edinburgh to Glasgow, it is £29.99 in Great British Pounds. I think it's £34.99 in US Dollars and €39.99 Euros. Those last two I might have got mixed up. Uh, but I'm sure there'll be mods in the chat, and throwing links in the chat for uh, for all the different uh, prices and stuff. This is Rivet Games. Is oh, they've done quite a few now, haven't they? Oh, was it Isle of Wight 2020? That was the first one. But the first route DLC, their first DLC was the DBBR 204, uh, which is a fantastic little shunter. Uh, Isle of Wight. Then it was a Rosa to. What was it after a Rosa line? I want to say it was losing Cersei. I think there was something else, wasn't there? Or was there not? He might have been losing Cersei after that, actually. Oh, I mean, if I can't, if I can't remember that, I'm pretty certain they did another route after the Erosal before losing Cersei. They did West Cornwall local. Yeah, West Cornwall. So that was then their third route. And their fourth route losing Cersei. So this is the... Unless I'm forgetting another one. See, losing Cersei was almost a year ago. I mean, where, where's that time gone? Um, I don't think there would have been another one after that. Not that I can think of. Well, no, was there another one? No, because they did the... Oh, there was definitely something else. I'll be like, after this, I'll be like, oh, yeah, it was that. Losing Cersei. There wasn't there a British one, was there? They did. There was. I don't know how I've actually forgot that, but yeah, the Isle of Wight 2022, which they did in July, which was the last DLC for Train Sim World 2. And then, yeah, then it's now this one. What we got there in the end? <laughs> so then this is another one, but I don't think there is. Is that, a, is that a free coach there? Oh no, free coach there. Well, this is Glasgow Queen Street. Yeah, that was probably one of the most enjoyable runs I've had on the route so far. So thanks for uh, uh, watching. Um, and yeah, I suppose stick around. I'm sure there'll be more videos after this. On more exciting uh, train stuff. Uh, and yeah, obviously big fans of Dovetail Games for the opportunity to show off uh, the new route. I don't really want to be getting a spad now, that's not really ideal. Let's come to a stop there. There we go, and we'll set the lights as well to tail. There we have it. Well, um, I've got a little bit closer there, but um, in the cab it sort of looks a bit, yeah. It's quite sort of, yeah, well, that, that'll, that'll do. Um, but yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Oh, where's this one go over here? I'm getting distracted now. Oh, that's one to the uh, lower. And that is a four coach as well. Um, but yeah, that is going to be everyone uh, for today's um, Train Sim World um, video for the publisher weekend. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Obviously, a yeah, big thanks again to uh, Dovetail Games for making the opportunity uh, arise. Um, and yeah, that was the new route by Rivet Games, uh, which released on the 26th of January, so not too long ago. Um, I suppose, yeah, that's going to be it for me. That was the, I'm the British Ace. Um, I'm sure my links will be somewhere. Daily Train Sim, so Train Sim Classic or Train Sim World. Um, so yeah, good fun. Apart from that, thanks for coming in. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely rest of your publisher weekend, uh, days, whatever. I'll see you all in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.